right, here we go. I told you I'd get back into the action, and I have. It's the bottom of the eighth, Cardinals home half of the inning. The Red Sox miraculously did tie the game. It's 4-4, four to four, and Xander Bogart's got the biggest hit easily in his short MLB career to this point, um, getting a ground ball up the middle off of the um, really good closer, Rosenthal, for the Cardinals. So Rosenthal obviously got out of it without giving the Red Sox the lead, but now it is 4-4. Four to four. That's the play that was made by one of the infielders for the Cardinals. That was the ball Nava hit to drive in the third run. Um, he was actually able to get the out at first, but because everyone was running on the pitch, it was just something where... Oh, this was Bogarts. Bogarts got the hit on that, which was crazy. Yep, took a hop off the glove. But you know what? Boston finds a way. That doesn't... See, again, I'm not necessarily sold that they're going to win this game, but right now Brandon Workman's in good choice to put in the game. I mean, he's been pretty pretty dominant, considering he's another kind of rookie. Cardinals are showing bunt again. They've been trying to bunt in this game. They've gotten a couple down, but usually not much. Uh, P. Cosma, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, not really known for his hitting, but, you know, again, you don't take anyone for granted on either team at this point. 4-4 game, there's a possibility this thing could go into extra innings. Strike two from Workman, bottom of the eighth, you know. I don't know. Every time I sell this team short, they surprise me. And then every time I think I have faith in them, they surprise me the other way. So, as devastating as the Game 2 loss was for the Red Sox, like, I'm not saying they're even going to win this game, but at least they've shown that they can stay with the Cardinals, even in the late innings. As that curveball misses for ball one. So, these two teams are in the World Series for a reason. This is going to be, no matter what happens tonight, I believe this is going to be an incredible World Series. I would say it goes seven games. I still don't know if the Red Sox can win it, though. I really don't. I want to believe they can. I, you know. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to shut up now. Oh, thank God. I don't know why that looked like it was going so much further and then it just died in left field. Off the bat, that looked really gone. I don't know why. And then it just panned over to Nava, almost like a movie where they show something and it looks really ominous and they pan back like in a comedic manner and you realize it's really nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm tired. Leave me alone. That's what that hit looked like. It looked like when he left the bat, it looked like it was going to be a home run. Then they panned back to show the whole ballpark, and it was like 20 feet to the wall. That's just how paranoid I am right now. Colton Wong, that's the name of the player that made the good play. Red Sox still got a run, but it could have gotten through for a hit. So Workman dealing. All right, ball one. Nava. You know, he still got the job done. He got an RBI. It wasn't pretty, just like um, Xander's hit wasn't even pretty, even though it was a hit. It's 4-4. Four four. It's going to be a late night for these guys. At least, hopefully. Oh, pop-up, pop-up. Can we get it? Somebody get it? No? Okay. That's all right. It was worth a try. Tony Rose in the stands. Colton Wong, rookie, 23 years old from Hawaii. 2011 first-round pick by the Cardinals, so, you know, he's pretty recent in their system. And playing on baseball's biggest stage. One and one, one out in the eighth. That was a ridiculous curveball. Even though it was a ball, I kind of liked it. That was kind of weird. You don't see that where it kind of starts low like that and then goes up. Like Usually you see that from a sidearm kind of guy, but I always saw Brandon Workman as like a traditional type of starter. Yeah, whatever. I just ramble sometimes. I mean, it's always crucial to win a game in the World Series, but... Um... Oh, here we go. Damn. Pass Pedroia, even he couldn't get to that one. Hit really fast. Anyway, um, always crucial to win a World Series game, obviously, but um, even more so because, I mean, the Red Sox used PV and they used Dubrant tonight, essentially. They had Dubrant come in for a couple innings. He did really well. But now you're not using him tomorrow night, most likely. And Clay Buckholz is the starter, so he could be dominant. He could be, you know, limited because of his injury or because of whatever, so... Clay Buckholz is not a guarantee, and if he just struggles, who comes in? Because Dubron's been using this game. Do you put Dempster in as the second starter if needed? And, you know, almost everybody for this bullpen for the Red Sox has been used now. you got Workman probably going to go the eighth no matter what. And Uihara probably go however long we got to go. This is going to get pretty intense pretty quickly if, you know, they can shut down the Cardinals in the eighth and the ninth if it gets to that point. We'll see what happens.
I'll be here either way. If this thing goes 14 innings, I'll be here. Maybe. Let's see how late that is. <sighs> kind of threw outside there like he was trying to stop the guy from stealing second. I don't know. This guy looks like he can run. I just say that because of the, you know, play he made. And he just has that determined look on his face at first. Fall Classic. And what a Fall Classic it is. 4-4 right now. Yeah, he's going to try and steal. Oh, nice. Nice. I mean, not nice, but, you know, nice to see the challenge in him. I don't know if I trust Ortiz handling those throws, though. Uh, Ortiz. Every time I try to believe in him as a fielder, he lets me down. I'm like, come on, give Ortiz a chance. He's not that bad at first. And he misses a ball or doesn't scoop it. I don't know. The Red Sox really got to win this one. They, they fought back to tie it. Oh, he's going. Pops it up, though, so he might have to get back, assuming... What is that? Trying to catch the damn ball. Bogarts catches the ball. All right, good. So that steal was kind of wasted. Two outs. There obviously wasn't a steal. But anyway, like I was saying, Red Sox really got to win this game. They fought back to tie it. If they don't win it, they're looking at, you know, freaking Buckholtz. You know, I'm really worried about that game. I've been worried about it since the series started. Like, the Red Sox, like... By the time Buckholtz gets into the series, I wanted the Red Sox to have at least a game advantage because I'm not saying Buckholtz is like gonna lose it, but I just I don't know. He could have three or four really dominant innings and then all of a sudden just get lit up, or maybe he doesn't even go that far. I don't know. The thing is, then where do you go in the Red Sox staff? You don't want to use another starter like Lackey and like waste him when you need him for Game Six or Seven. I just don't know. I mean, the good news is you do have Lester after that, but. It's not much good news if you're down 2-1, 3-1 in the World Series to a team like the Cardinals. He's still going to run. I would love to see him get picked off. Usually, you know, I get bored by all the pickoff throws, but it'd be worth it because he's been, like, really, like, taunting Workman over at first, like, crazy. He tried to steal on the ball that um, got popped up just now. And he's probably going to try and steal again. I mean, why not? You look at almost that. Oh, that was weird. Surprised he didn't try to steal anyway. He like started the steal, then like for a brief second, Workman looked toward him and it was like, all right, I'm gonna focus on pitching, but I also see that you're trying to run. He's still on first though, so he didn't follow through there. Beltran, God, how does this guy still, after the injury you thought he had in game one and just everything he's in the middle of? He is crazy. Get him at first. God, I would love to see it. A little tired right now, so there's not much for me to go nuts about. But if they pick him off first, I will go nuts. Because they've been targeting him over there. And he's a rookie, and he seems to be really anxious. And I don't, I don't know. Workman, come on. Focus, man. Don't worry about the guy at first. Nice. Nice pitch. Good. Strike one. Let's go, Red Sox. Don't suck, Red Sox. Let's go, Red Sox. Come on. All right, we get it. You're going to steal the base. God. Oof. I'm surprised he didn't go on that pitch. Workman's got some kind of cool, like, curvy stuff, like sliders and shit. That's pretty nice. I'm not saying they're effective, but they're nice. It's not like, you know, you know where he's going to go with it. I don't know what the point of that last camera angle was. It was pretty terrible. It was like a railing in somebody's face in the Cardinals dugout. Like them just kind of looking through the fence. But like the camera angle was terrible. Couldn't really tell what was happening. Alright, he's running. What a shock. Throw him out. Nah, he's safe. You know what? I'm tired of this bullshit. Alright, he's at second. Are you happy? You sit there and just run back and forth on first. There's two outs anyway. So the double play wasn't an issue. It was a decent throw, actually. I'm surprised it didn't get into the outfield the way the Red Sox have been going. If Bogarts had been like a split second faster applying the tag, he might have been out. But he held on to the ball for just long enough. It took him a second. And you know what? I don't blame him. The stealing bases shit is kind of annoying. And especially since it looks like they're going to try and walk Beltran anyway. That's, I kinda, yeah, I agree with that. They're going to do it to our best hitter. Do it to their best hitter. It's 3-1 anyway. You happy now, Wong? You got your stolen base that you would have ended up on anyway? God, that guy's a pest. Beltran, you know, I don't mind not facing him. 
They want to do it to Ortiz, we're going to do it to you. And you want to freaking steal on everybody? You know, good job. You ran to a base that we were going to give you anyway. Oh, fuck. That holiday's up. See, this is where the Cardinals have an advantage. Well, the Cardinals have an advantage of the Red Sox in a lot of areas, but it's mainly just the fact that they have a hitter after Beltran that's good. Red Sox after Ortiz, I'm not saying Nava's not a decent hitter, but, I mean, who are you going to pick, Ortiz or Nava? Who are you going to pick, Matt Holliday or Carlos Beltran? Like, either way, you know, you got to face a good hitter. You know, Nava and Ortiz, you're going to pick Nava to face if you're the Cardinals. I don't see them walking him to load the bases. That would just be stupid. I think you got to go right for Holiday. I know he's good. I know he's had a couple hits in the game. And I know, you know, he finds a way. He doesn't necessarily hit a home run, but he gets balls through the infield. You know, could score a run right here in a crucial spot. So two outs in the eighth. We're going to see if the Cardinals can put the go-ahead run on the, you know, on the board. Workman ready. Workman's a good pitcher, though. I will, I will live or live live or die by Brandon Workman. Like I'm glad it's not Dempster or some like throwing in this big spot where you're going. Well, the odds aren't with him. You know, the odds still might not be with Workman, but Workman, you know, he's legit. And I trust that you know, unless the Cardinals really break this open, I trust that Uihara will be on either way in the ninth. Well, unless the Red Sox don't tie the game or the Red Sox are losing, then the game will be over. But if Brandon Workman gets his last out without giving up a run. I trust that um, Louis Hara will be in the ninth in a tie game, maybe with a lead, but we'll see. Right now, though, got to focus on the matter at hand, which is Matt Holliday versus Brandon Workman. 0-1, two outs. Inside, 1-1. One one. God, I, I both love and hate this. This reminds me of 0-4 against the Yankees. Like, every... At bat, it's just so much pressure. You don't know, like, if there's going to be a hit, if there's going to be a... Oh, for either team. This game has, like, had really, like, long stretches of good pitching, and then all of a sudden you're waiting for that one inning where someone's going to blink. It was the Cardinals in the last inning. Okay, here we go. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, motherfucker, catch it. Caught it. All right. All right, stay, game is stay tied. They got through the toughest part of the lineup. Let's see what happens.